Maajong gabi sa tanan. Magandang gabi sa lahat. Good evening everybody. This is Lewis and I'm coming to you still from Matalom, Leyte province on the island of Leyte. And Nora and I went to PSA today and picked up our marriage certificate and her birth certificate continuing the process of applying for my 13A visa, the so-called marriage visa, permanent residence visa here in the Philippines. And I'm going to show you the markings on the documents as I had explained in a previous video that the NSO doesn't exist anymore. So now I'm going to lay out the documents and we will take a look. Okay everybody, so here you can see laid out in front of the camera the marriage certificate that we picked up at PSA. It has the PSA logo uh, different than the old one that had NSO. We talked about that in the previous video about NSO and PSA. And next I'm going to show you at the bottom where it's got the signature and stamp from PSA as well for the full comparison to the document in the previous video. Okay and now here you can see also the stamp with the signature on the bottom that this is from the Philippine Stati Statistics Authority, the PSA. There's one more thing I want to show you about this and tell you what the lady advised us at the PSA office. So stapled to the top left hand corner of the marriage certificate is a receipt showing that the fees that we paid, this is the official receipt, and the lady for this and also for Nora's birth certificate, she advised us to leave the receipt attached because she said, quote, there are some agencies here in the Philippines that want to see the receipt intact, attached to the certificate when you submit it, uh, as if maybe they won't accept it if the receipt's not attached. So we did remove it to make photocopies and then reattached it. Okay, so here you can see a copy of the receipt that's attached its staple to the upper left hand corner of the marriage certificate. There's another one on the birth certificate. I'll show you that one also. And the lady there at PSA advised us to leave the receipt intact attached to the certificate because she said, quote, there are many agencies in the Philippines that require to have that receipt attached when they receive the document. So when you get this receipt, I mean, we removed it to make a photocopy of the certificate and also a photocopy of the receipt and then I stapled it back on but make sure you keep that receipt with the document. Okay, and then here's the birth certificate, same thing. It's got the PSA logo on the upper left hand corner. And I'm gonna show you the stamp and signature down at the bottom and show you the receipt also just like for the marriage certificate. Okay, and there you can see the signature and the stamp at the bottom of the birth certificate, just like with the marriage certificate. And next I'm gonna show you the receipt. Okay, and also we have another receipt on this document, and again, the lady said to be sure to leave it intact, attached to the document, because there are some agencies that want to have that receipt attached to the document. Okay, and then here you can see the receipt for the birth certificate, and again, the lady there at PSA advised us to leave this intact, attached to the document, because there are many uh, Philippine agencies that want to see this receipt with the document when they receive it. So thank you very much everybody for joining us on the video. Uh, this concludes the parts about the PSA and NSO as far as uh, obtaining your documents that you need to file the 13A visa, the so-called marriage visa from them. And I'll post more videos about the following steps. Uh, next, we'll be going back to NBI to pick up my NBI clearance, and then going back to immigration to file the application. All right, I'm also going to make a video about the letter that has to be written to the Commissioner of Customs as part of the application package, and I'll show a copy of that um, on video. And what I'd like to be able to do is if you want to email me for a sample format, and then I could email it back to you like as a PDF. Okay, so thank you everybody for joining us. Take care. See you at the next video. Bye now.